Hi guys, today I'm coming to you with a much requested video, namely a day in the life of a data person. So today I'd like to show you how my typical day looks like. I wake up, I pick up my phone and I check any comments you might have left on my channel. I also check my Gmail, Discord, Instagram for any DMs and Messenger to see if any friends message to me. It does sound like a lot, but honestly, it's just a quick one minute scan for anything urgent or important. Then I go to brush my teeth and wash my face. That makes me ready for coffee. I don't exist without coffee. I'm obsessed to the point that I even bought myself a coffee atlas to learn about various coffee varieties and learn about the production process and everything, you know? Je m'appelle Marie. Marie. Je parle anglais. Je parle anglais. Having said that, I don't actually drink any fancy specialty coffee on a daily basis. Firstly, because it's pricey and secondly, it's hard to get the brewing right. And if you don't get the brewing right, it defeats the whole purpose of having a specialty coffee. Now I'm finally ready to get to work. Of course, I can't show you any details of what I do at work, but I can show you some sort of high level overview of what kind of tasks I typically do in a day. First thing in the morning, of course, I read my emails. I scan them for any warnings about broken pipelines, messages from my colleagues about the things that I messed up that need fixing, compliance team pestering me about compulsory anti-financial crime training, and on a typical day, thankfully, there aren't actually many such emails in my inbox. My inbox is typically cluttered with some status emails and automatic reports for which I should have set up rules and separate folders in my inbox, but I didn't. My bad. After I confirm that all is good and I didn't mess anything up, I sip my coffee in blissful serenity while waiting for the stand-up meeting, which usually runs daily at 9.30. Good morning. During the stand-up, I talk about what I did in the previous day, what I'm planning to do today, and if I face any blockers. Yes, yeah, so yesterday I worked on this um, ticket, but unfortunately I didn't manage to make much progress. For example, I might be missing access to a specific database. If I say it during the stand-up meeting in the morning, there is a chance that someone from my team has already gone through a similar process and they have some useful tips, some useful contacts for me to pester. Yeah, if you could please, that'd be great. After the stand-up, I crack on with my work. That might involve a number of things, but on the engineering side of data in particular, that will involve solving some sort of a problem. Let's say we have a web app and a stakeholder wants us to add a specific piece of functionality to the web app. In order to add that piece of functionality, we first need to have a specific data set in a specific database. So my job will be to figure out how to put that data there. So what I'll probably do is, well, first I'll locate the data, like where is it at the moment, then I'll probably need to raise some access requests to be able to access and view the data. And after that, well, figure out how to move it around to the place where I need it. By that time, I also feel like my bum is hurting from all the sitting, but this should no longer be my problem. This is because I've just received the FlexiSpot adjustable standing desk Pro Series E7. And I must say, I love this desk. Basically, it allows you to alternate between standing and sitting heights. So whenever I feel like standing up and stretching my legs a little bit, I can do it with one press of a button. What really surpassed my expectations is the quality of this desk. 
the movement mechanism is so smooth. You can see my coffee is perfectly still when it goes up and down. The frame is also really solid. I chose a white frame color, but you can choose also gray or black, which by the way is another cool feature of this desk. It's fully customizable. You can also choose different desktop colors. I chose bamboo um, because I think it goes well with my bedroom. And of course, unlike my old desk, this is real wood, real bamboo. So it's really just a super high quality product. I am linking it in the description below, so go check it out. I think it's really going to make a difference to my working from home day. Okay, time for lunch. I always cook fresh lunch every day, but I only have a few typical meals that I cook. So I became very efficient at making them. And I'm usually done in around 20 minutes. My signature meal is a stir fry with tofu and some fresh vegetable that I have in the fridge. For example, broccoli, green beans, onion. I cut them slowly. Slow life is good. In the meantime, I write in my journal and I practice gratefulness. Okay, I'm joking. I'm not so cool. Sometimes, but probably not today, given the weather and given the fact that I'm in quarantine, I go for a walk around my neighborhood during lunch. And even if my lunch break stretches to an hour and a half, it's fine because my employer promotes flexible working. So if I take a longer lunch break, I can basically stay longer uh, at work. And you know, as long as I do my work, no questions asked. After lunch, I will probably either carry on with my work or I will jump on some other Zoom calls like team demos, coffee catch-ups with managers and buddies and all sorts of meetings that you can imagine. By 3 p.m. I really feel that 3 p.m. slump. My glucose levels are dipping. I need either coffee or sugar but you only live once, so I usually take both. I typically work on my YouTube channel in the evenings, unless I'm doing something different, such as getting ready for the new job or just chilling and watching Netflix sometimes. But no, typically I actually work on my YouTube channel and that might involve either writing a script for the new video or editing some existing footage or replying to comments, or basically sitting still and contemplating what I'm doing. Is this aligned with who I am? Am I happy? Or am I getting further away from my true desires? What can I do to prevent the feeling of regret in the future? So those are the questions that I ask myself before I go to sleep. Good night.